Hey guys, it's Rita Math Person. Before we get started with this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button to support my channel. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, turn that notification off. Otherwise, let's just dive right into it. I know it's been a hot second, but welcome back. I'm going to be going over free exam FM resources that you can use to pass exam FM for free. Um, except you obviously have to pay the 250 or however much it is to take it online, but Yes, let's just dive right into it. It's going to be really similar to my exam F exam P video, but again, I'm going to list everything in my bio, so go ahead and check the description box. Obviously, number one resource that I recommend is my YouTube channel. I'm planning on crank cranking out all those exam FM questions and exam FM resources. It might just take a little bit longer just because I'm not as familiar with it as I am with exam P resources but i always recommend pausing the video before you start anything try to do it yourself then if once you complete it you go going to the end of the question see if you got the answer right if you have any questions and if you did great if you didn't just i would just recommend going back and just watching a video with me so again i, I don't have any exam fm videos so far on my youtube yet but i'm planning on cl cranking it out this summer hopefully in time for the august test Hopefully. I always loved SOA questions just because these questions are highly likely going to be on the exam in some kind of variation or not. So I always try to make sure that I know how to solve these questions. And actually, you know what's surprising is most exam P, most of the questions were from the SOA website just with different numbers. So I definitely thought just doing the problems would be really helpful. 10 out of 10 would I recommend. And the question itself is linked to my... um linked in my bio as well the exam fm questions sample questions and the solutions are also in my bio as well but i recommend going through it since this is published by the soa and it's very credible second resource that i recommended in my exam p video is um the wisconsin school of business videos the only problem is it doesn't really work for my computer anymore just because it doesn't have the adobe but i still listed in there just in case that it works for somebody else it just doesn't work for me Next one is this Arkansas Tech, Arkansas Tech University Department of Mathematics page here. I always recommend this second link in the study guides, the basic course in the theory of interest, interest in derivative markets, a preparation for exam FM, just because this is a free resource available to you. And it just goes over um, concepts if you aren't familiar with financial mathematics. And another good thing is if you click on this, FM exam here it will tell you what kind of um, calculators approved what kind of pass pass fail rate it is and some dates that you can sign up for which I thought was kind of nice they also do have a formula sheet for exam FM on on that website which I thought was kind of neat it has a little summary of 15, 15 pages worth and helpful for the exam to memorize because, again, we can't bring anything to the exam testing site, obviously. Obviously, another really good resource is this um, SOA exam FM sample exam. Just because they're going to tell you on the exam that it's not what you know, but it's about how, effect how effectively and fast can you solve these problems. So, having when you take this test, there are um, there's a time limit on the bottom. So, you can time yourself and see how far you can get in three hours, which is really critical. And it also helps you with test anxiety anxiety a little bit just because you're under time pressure N along the lines of that i also recommend doing the uh, michigan state university's actuarial online exam fm just because it also has the timer on the bottom the three hours so you ha get a chance of uh, you get that little test pressure another resource i mentioned in my exam p video is this one right here just um this allows you to basically make your own exam up so you can put, click exam FM, you can see how many problems. And what I really like about this one is that like if you get a question wrong, you can generate a next test with um, the questions you got wrong. See, I can gen start over with missed problems, which I really love. The only thing, again, as I mentioned in my other video, is that some, num some of the numbers can get really ugly, I noticed. And some of the numbers could get really tedious, but... Other than that, 10 out of 10 for this website. I just linked this whole playlist here. This is a um, concept video for SOA exam, FM, actuarial exams. And this guy does a really good job actually going over a lot of the concepts. I put it in my bio for you. His name is, his YouTube is called Analyst Prep. And he does a really nice job with SOA content. So 
I would definitely recommend him. Other than that, if you have any resources of your own, please link them down below. And see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.